Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here, and we're in the deep, deep jungles, or not so deep jungles, of Disney Springs. It's uh, a Landry's restaurant of all places. Yes, today uh, we're going to T-Rex Cafe. T-Rex Cafe? Restaurant? Restaurant? Something like that. T-Rex. T-Rex. We've been meaning to come here for a while. We've yes. been here a couple times At off YouTube. Squid Bar. Yes. Now it's time to actually uh, eat here. Yeah. We'll see what this limited menu is like. Yeah. So we're going to go in and hopefully we don't get snatched by some dinosaurs. Be sure to do 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 Wrong part. You heard the girl. I've never understood uh, Corona Rita or the hype behind them, but I do appreciate the size of the box. Yes. A unique flavor and kick. There's a lot of sugar for a margarita. Almost overpowers the alcohol, not in a good way. Two to five plus. I would not order that. Vera, the tropical painkillers, so it has pineapple vodka in it. He's just trying to torture me now. The pineapple, pineapple vodka and pina colada. So basically the two things that I would hate the most in one drink. It tastes like a watered down pina colada. It's more pineapple than it is coconut, so I can stand it a little bit better. But I don't like it. But we all know pineapple and coconut's not my jam. As for this, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it was the name that got me. This uh, really couldn't get much of a taller glass than this. Yep. It's just a, it's just a pineapple forward pina colada. Not bad, not great. But even my straw, like, not even, you'll lose this thing in there. So be careful with that. Eh, it's okay. Average drink. Kind of right home about. Two and a half out of five plus. Condiments now? Been no condiments, but this? This is nasty right here. Whoever uses this much mayo, you need to stop that. Because that's gross. Just stick with the mustard. Smells like orange. Like the orange peel is very fragrant. Be 
Claire's gonna like this. It's very strong. It's not my jam. It tastes like rubbing alcohol. I'll be honest, I did not want to get this drink. You know how I like bourbon, but it was it's bourbon, orange bitters, and a vanilla syrup, which is kind of like rum maybe with whiskey? I'm not so sure. It's okay. The vanilla syrup doesn't really add a whole lot to it as far as character, as far as a little bit of sweetness. Other than that, it just tastes like a normal old fashioned. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's not like Topolino's level, old fashioned, but it'll do. Two and a half out of five bucks. caramelized onions they're just thrown on there the toppings were just thrown on there like oh we messed up this order let's just go ahead and throw everything on the plate as quickly as possible because we messed up I'm gonna fix it I did fix the fries so that they're not all off the plate I'm gonna fix this burger I'm gonna cut it in half I don't have high hopes for it Lord help me I hope it is a beyond burger and not a real burger that's how I feel about this place right now. I don't trust it. A little wilty. section here. This bun is supposed to be a sourdough bun. The brioche is not vegan. We have the pet beyond patty, caramelized onions, pickles, lettuce, tomato. No sauce. The bun looks toasted. It's definitely a beyond burger. Flash cooked. At least it's not super dry for not having any sauce on it. Definitely not, I would not proactively come here for this Beyond Burger. I feel like there's probably some of the worst dishes in Universal are better than this Beyond Burger. And then we have a steak fry. It's dry. Lukewarm. Okay. It was funny because Bear and I were joking on the drive down here that we'd have to go stop somewhere else to eat after here because we expected the food to be bad. But I didn't expect it to be this bad. I thought I would be full and be okay to just go home. But I think I'm gonna have to stop somewhere else to get food because this is a fail. A big fail. All of these fries first. They look they're looking kind of bad. For steak fries, I'm not impressed. Part. 
They're crisp. They're it tells me they've been they were cooked. They've been sitting out too long. And it tastes like they were frozen. One and a half out of five bucks. I sometimes wonder, I'm not saying anything about this place, I haven't been in this burger yet. I'm playing with dim lights. Is it a goal for me not to be able to see my food? Some of you are in the restaurant industry, you tell me. Average at best. Beyond Burger. Should have been a five bar, but I'm not impressed. I definitely would not come here for this. I would feel like a third-rate citizen. This is all you offer me. It's uh, vegan. So, in prehistoric times, I guess there's a lot of fish. All right, seafood trio. This is probably not the best restaurant to be eating a seafood trio. Nothing else in the menu really jumped out at me. So we have a blackened tilapia, blackened shrimp, and then some of the smallest scallops I've ever seen, and some sort of sauce and more shrimp. Like we always say, we commit to our mistakes, but here we are. Super cheesy, but the shrimp and the scallops are always cooked well. It's more cheese than anything else. And a huge puddle of grease. So it looks pretty historic, I'll give you that. Flavor wise, eh, two and a half out of five plus. Extra sloppia. It's got a good sear to it. Tilapia is like the bacon of fish. It's okay. Depends on how it's cooked. This is alright. I think it's above average. Better than the scallops. Three out of five quarts. As for the skewered shrimp here, go ahead and yank this off. Okay. The flagon, a little bit on the dry side. Look at that. Two out of five. Points. A little bit of forbidden rice mixture here. That's pretty awful. One and a half out of five. Points. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this. Rice is dry. Scallops are greasy. Fish is good. The shrimp is okay. But all in all. I'll probably order something separate and have the platter in the future. So it was a uh, uh, linear T-Rex? It was awful. I'm just going to say it was awful. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I, the atmosphere is okay, the service was okay, but everything else was awful. Now I know why we only came here for drinks. Yeah. His Sometimes food, we come, we the come in. The oil in and his food was like unreal. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll drop that video. It's probably already in here somewhere, but you guys have seen it by now. That I was supposed to be like cheesy shrimp and scallops, but it was like oil or butter topped with cheese. I don't know what the hell it was. It was, it was awful. I didn't eat it. It made me nauseous just looking at this. I just didn't eat it. My food didn't taste good. His food didn't taste good. We're gonna go home and make some real food. We we know coming in sometimes some of these places are not gonna be. I'm gonna blow your mind. I don't expect that at C-Rex. I just expected to be edible. Uh, yeah. This is, this is barely Same. like right below. I took part. three bites of my burger that was originally presented to me incorrectly and paid twenty dollars for that. I would not do that again. His table, his plate was thirty dollars. And I didn't like, even have no. it. <laughs> no. I will say that this appears to be a very popular birthday spot. If you're considering that, if my opinion means anything at all. Don't do that to somebody you like.
Please don't. Unless uh, it's a child that loves dinosaurs. There's better food for cheaper here, and better food for more. But there's no reason to spend that money. If you have a child that's into dinosaurs, go eat somewhere else that's more affordable, and then come here for dessert so mm. you can at least have the experience. But do not eat here. Do not. But if we're wrong, and we all there's always Sometimes that possibility. We, we could have had a bad day today. Let us know in the comments if you think there's something here that's worth us trying. We will come back under duress. So, hit the notification bell in case you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. We heard the girl.